At this point, I've done a few different tutorials on DAO building tools, and there's even more of them out there now than when I started making videos. The space is moving really, really fast, and DAOs are just more popular than ever right at the moment. So how are you supposed to choose from all these different DAO tooling suites, which one would be the best approach for your project? There's a lot to consider, so I'm going to go through some key high-level points about some common DAO builders as far as what they do and when to use them based on my experience and knowledge as as a software developer in this space. And hopefully this can maybe be a good starting point for you in your research. One commonly used DAO builder is Aragon. They have a very robust suite of applications and services with Aragon Govern, Client, Voice, and Court. They also offer plugins that can help you with finances and payroll and other administrative stuff. I would say that Aragon is often used by organizations who choose to roll their own smart contract and then use the Aragon tools to interface with it. So how do you know if you need a custom smart contract versus just using the templates on one of these tools? Well, I would suggest that at this point in time, you probably need to write your own contracts when you need advanced functionality beyond basic member voting and disbursement of funds. An example of these more complex features could include things like delegation of voting rights, um, automating creation of sub DAOs, or like advanced lending protocols. Aragon makes it easy to do some of these complex things. You can also use it to just set up a basic DAO in a few minutes, which is something that I walked through in another video that you can now find in the Aragon documentation as well. But I think this tool is probably best leveraged when you can take advantage of some of these heavier lifting features. Aragon is set up for the Ethereum network. Uh, you can use the Rinkeby testnet while you're building, which is nice, but you will have to keep in mind those gas fees and such when you're ready to deploy to mainnet. It does also come with the option to deploy to some layer twos as well. The Aragon tool suite is probably the one I would personally recommend using for more complex DAOs with in-house development teams. For more basic DAOs also built on Ethereum, Juicebox is probably the platform I would recommend. You can interact with their protocol through your own smart contracts and they do offer a lot of customizability, but their pre-built template process is very simple and they have a step-by-step -step walkthrough video that you can follow to get set up in a few minutes. When you create a Juicebox project. It mints you an NFT that represents ownership of that project. And whoever owns this NFT can configure rules and payouts for the project. The reason I would recommend Juicebox is because I would say it's the tool I see most commonly used right now for a lot of the new DAOs that are popping up everywhere. It seems the trending path is spin up a regular old website, set up your token on Juicebox, start a Discord server, and you're in business. If you are looking to avoid Ethereum gas fees, there are a couple of pretty solid tools where you can use the XDAI token, uh, that blockchain is now known as the Gnosis chain, um, which is drastically cheaper. One of those is DAO Stack Alchemy, which I also have a walkthrough of on this channel. Another one I have not tried, but seen a number of people use is Colony. They advertise on their website that you can create a DAO in 90 seconds. There are also a number of projects in beta right now. I know the Grape protocol is being worked on for Solana, and I think there are some things in progress for Cardano and some other ones too. But the vast majority of DAOs right now are Ethereum based or at least on EVM compatible chains. As a bonus, there are two projects that are just now launching that I would definitely check out if you're in the market for a super, super simple DAO building experience. The first one is Mirror. They have a really nice little UI. I've spoken directly with someone on their team and it sounds like they're a pretty solid group working on that project. They really want to simplify the entire DAO creation process as much as possible in a way that can help you learn as you build. The other one is Upstream Collectives, which is built by the Upstream Social Software team. They're basically aiming to bring all the pieces of building a DAO into one place. The so wallet, voting, communications, all of it can be done within their platform and you don't need any technical experience to put it together. Of course, regardless of what DAO tooling you decide to use, building a community is the most critical and really the most challenging part of setting up a DAO and that's something that no technical tool can do for you. So just keep that in the forefront of your mind when you're working on all this. I hope this was a helpful starting point for you. If you want to learn more about stuff like this from me, you can check out my DeFi education resource that's always in the description and subscribe to this channel so I keep making more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.